so I guess this is how I'm going to spend my quarantine time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kathleen. Welcome to another studio vlog. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of Pokemon related projects I've been working on this week. Since I've had a lot of free time since the social distancing thing, uh, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Sword and Shield and got really inspired to take on new projects. Such as learning how to crochet and making Pokemon plushies with my mom. Yep, so at the end of this video, I'll show you how we make these crochet plushies. But firstly, I'm going to show you how I make the Pokemon stickers. So I decided to draw the starter Pokemon first, the classic characters. Uh, I drew them in a very simple style with very minimal shading since I knew that I was going to print these out. adding some highlights and a background. And once I finished designing all four Pokemon, um, I put them all on one document and copied and pasted the circles. Yes, I was planning on making die cut stickers, so I downloaded the sticker file onto my computer and then opened the Silhouette Studio app. Right here, I just opened the file that I saved rotate it to size and before I print it I had to show the registration marks so that my silhouette machine can read the paper to know where to cut yep and then I make the final cut settings I just wanted to cut out the circles into regular circle die cut stickers and then I print out the document and paste it onto my I think it's called the sticking mat, cutting mat, <laughs> and upload it into my machine. Now I know in this video it looks like I did this in one try, but that is actually not true. Uh, it took a little bit of trial error to figure out the right machine settings, because sometimes the calibration can be a little bit off. And once the cutting machine finishes cutting out the circles, I simply peel them off my mat. It makes the most satisfying noise, I don't know why. <laughs> now, I made these cute circle stickers to go with the Pokemon plushies that we will be selling. I think they turned out pretty cute. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? And then right here, just a couple of shots matching with the Pokemon plushies. I want to call them Pokey Babies. I think that's a really fun name for the plushies. <laughs> My personal favorite probably has to be the Squirtle ones. But I think they're all pretty cute. And in the next clips, I'll be showing you how we make the individual plushies. So, since the whole social distancing thing with the COVID-19, I've been stuck indoors, I haven't gone to my day job, so I've actually been learning how to crochet, learn the basics. Now my mom's a little bit more experienced, so she's a lot faster doing it than I am, and she's actually the one that recorded these clips for me. So thanks, Mom! First, we're working on Bulbasaur. This one's probably the shortest clip. Uh, we're just showing how we attach the ligaments and the shell and ears. I do like how uniform and small the uh, Pokemon or Poke Baby plushies are. I think their proportions are very unanimous to my chibi characters I draw. That was my whole goal. <laughs> and the spots and the Bulbasaur is done. And next right here is Squirtle. Now since I think the videos are pretty self-explanatory, I'm going to actually use this time to discuss a couple more topics regarding my channel. Um, so I told you in a previous video that I was going to be recording 
another artist alley vlog for the Kira Kira Con, but unfortunately um, that con got rescheduled uh, due to the COVID-19 announcements. A lot of my conventions that I planned on going to have been cancelled or rescheduled, so unfortunately I don't think I'm going to have any artist alley vlogs anytime soon. <laughs> So I've been thinking like what kind of video content I should be focusing on for this channel until everything is in the clear in my area and district. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and indoors and practicing uh, clear and safe health precautions. Um, until then, I think I'm going to focus on my studio vlogs more specifically, probably working on more plushies and learning how to do more crochet projects. As well as, uh, I am still working on a studio tour and office makeover that you guys can look forward to. And I'm thinking of maybe perhaps doing some actual tutorials. Uh, some of you guys have been asking me how I make my buttons, my stickers, and even though I show them in my studio vlogs, they're not necessarily step by step, it just shows what I do at a glance. So. If there's anything on my channel that you guys want to learn about, whether it's like resin charms or if there's stickers, please let me know and I'll make a step-by-step -step tutorial that will be easier for you guys to follow. I do want to keep creating content on my channel and I will definitely do Artist Alley vlogs in the future um, until everything gets clear with the COVID-19. I think I'm just going to focus on my studio vlogs and creating new artwork with you all. Yes, so I think I'm going to do um, or try some tutorials and maybe some in-depth studio vlogs. I don't know. I think 10 minutes is kind of a long time. But if you guys want longer videos, please let me know. I'll definitely make more time for you guys. Alright, so that pretty much sums up any updates on my channel. No, I'm not closing my store and I'm still posting on Instagram pretty frequently. Uh, what I want to do is dedicate more time and energy to this channel especially seeing that it's finally growing and you guys are excited about my giveaway oh for those of you interested in my giveaway um i'll be posting the winners of the giveaway uh this week on april 1st on tuesday so look forward to the next video to announce the winner all right i'll see you guys later